now to Cambodia. Four more COVID-19 patients made a complete recovery, bringing the total to 10. We have an update coming in. Joining us live now is Crystal Ann Balesteros from Cambodia, EBC Cambodia Bureau. Crystal Ann Balesteros. Ann? Hi, Alma. As of 10 p.m. on yesterday's reported cases in Cambodia, there have been 96 cases of COVID-19, including 38 Cambodian, 56 French, 12 Malaysian, 5 British, 2 Americans, 1 Canadian, Chinese, and Belgian. No death tolls reported and 10 recovered. Good thing is the recovery brings hope that the amid the increasing numbers of infections, the retroviral drugs being used to treat patients has thus been effective. Also, government malls asking the king to place the kingdom in a state of emergency. Prime Minister Hun Sen said today that the government is considering requesting King Norodong Sihamuni to place the country in a state of emergency amid the COVID-19 pandemic. But Hun Sen objected to the constitutional stipulations saying he should be able to declare a national emergency without a, consent, without a consensus agreement. Whenever governments declare a state of emergency, civil rights are restricted, the Prime Minister said, adding that political observers should not accuse him of cracking down on citizens. Several nations currently have stay-at-home orders imposed, restricting citizens' movement in an effort to limit the spread of the virus. In Cambodia, as the number of confirmed cases in the country steadily climbed in the last two weeks, the government has ordered the temporary closure of schools and entertainment venues and banned concerts and religious gatherings, while adding beer gardens to the list of shuttered venues on Wednesday. Travel in and out of the country has also been restricted. Meanwhile, Cambodia gets ready with more than 3,000 rooms for COVID-19 patients. To be ready for any potential spike in COVID-19, the government has reserved more than 3,000 rooms for potential patients. In starting this, Prime Minister Hun Sen said more than 3,000 rooms of hotels School buildings, dormitories, and other public buildings across the country have been arranged to receive COVID-19 patients. In Phnom Penh, there are four places ready for COVID-19 patients, including Kamai Soviet Friendship Hospital, Czech Andre Health Center, Priaket Mele Military Hospital, and Great Dog Hotel. The, prim the Prime Minister underlined that all patients, regardless of the nationalities tested positive for COVID-19 in Cambodia, have free of charge access to the treatment. He added that the royal government's recruitment of voluntary health practitioners this time is part of a commitment to combat the COVID-19 in the kingdom. Cell phone companies have added a health message about, about COVID-19 to dial tones, asking phone users to call the health ministry's hotline if they display symptoms. Local authorities have started driving through neighborhoods, playing messages about the illness through bull bullhorns. The prime minister urged people not to go out unless it was necessary and ask the public to encourage those who might have direct contract, contact with an infected person to get a health checkup. He also promised to provide free health care for anyone who tests positive for the respiratory illness in Cambodia. Moreover, Prime Minister urges people not to use superstitious methods in trying to ward off COVID-19. Prime Minister Hun Sen yesterday urged people not to use superstitious beliefs to try warding off the deadly COVID-19 or believe false claims that there is a drug to cure the disease. During a meeting at the Peace Palace with volunteer physicians working to fight the pandemic, Mr. Hun Sen said he had been informed recently some people have been using superstitious methods such as burning fires to eradicate the virus. Noting this action is very risky. Mr. Hun Sen also warned the authorities will take legal action by seizing face masks and shutting down any pharmacies that sells the face mask for higher prices to 
to take advantage of people who need them to protect themselves and prevent the spread of COVID-19. To sum up, the Prime Minister expresses profound thanks to the authorities at all levels for their efforts in raising public awareness on preventive measure against COVID-19 pandemic in the Kingdom. For the recent updates of COVID-19 here in Cambodia, I am Crystal Anbalesteros and we live in interesting times.